Hi, fifth graders. This is just a final review of story elements. And I want to make sure that there's key parts that you understand that you that you kind of remember for yourself in reviewing story elements and what to expect for the test. Okay, this story elements is um, parts of a story. Every every story has parts that, of a story that we've been studying. Um, I use this to help us remind ourselves what um, story elements are. And I call this plot mountain. And plot mountain has a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning is right here. This is the begin. And in the beginning, A it shows the beginning. And in the beginning, this is where you learn where the story takes place and who the people are. So you learn setting and you also learn the characters. And this is called the exposition. The exposition is um, setting and characters, and it's at the very beginning of the book. It's where you kind of like start relating to the characters. That's the beginning. The next part of our plot is doesn't start until after you identify the conflict. Once you have, um, once you see what the conflict is, or once you read what the conflict is, um, what the problem or the struggle is for the protagonist, for the main character, that's when you start walking up and climbing up Plot Mountain. Okay, so the conflict, once you identify what the conflict is, then the main character starts going up. So the main character is called uh, the protagonist. And the protagonist as they climb up the, uh, the plot mountain. And as you read the story, the protagonist is trying to solve the conflict. And there's might be other conflicts that, that start. And so they start, you know, you're reading through, their action is rising, the protagonist tries something and they fail. And they keep trying something else and they fail. So it kind of stops them. And then they keep trying something else and then they fail. So them trying it, it's called the rising action. The rising action. You're, you're, the protagonist is trying to um, to solve the conflict. Now, uh, the the protagonist is usually the main character, the good guy, the villain, the the hero in the story, and then you have the lit, uh, the antagonist. Let me give some mean eyebrows there. He's the mean guy, and let's give him a sword and. We call him the antagonist, and the antagonist is the villain. He's the bad guy, and usually the antagonist is causing the conflict for the protagonist all through the rising action. Then the, the most intense part of the story is called the climax. That is the most intense part of the story. That is when things start changing for the main character. Um, that's when the directions start changing, and it's honestly the most intense part of the story. That is um, the spoiler. That is what you usually share with the spoiler, uh, that or the resolution, but we'll get to that. So the climax is the most intense part of the, the climax is the most intense part of the story. Then after the, after the climax, you have the falling action. And this is where um, some things start, start getting tied up, the loose ends, uh, other, all the, the rising action things that happen there, you kind of start getting the feel for it, how it ends. And then the ending is, um, the end of the story is called the resolution. You see solution and resolution. Usually it's solved. Sometimes the stories don't end the way you want them to. How you say they don't necessarily get solved the way you want them to. Um, the resolution does something with the conflict. It usually ends the conflict. Usually, usually the conflict comes to an end um, in some way, or maybe it changes um, by the resolution for the conflict 
resolves itself for the protagonist by the end of the story in some form. So, and this uh, is, is essentially Plot Mountain. The beginning is the exposition. Then the middle, look how long that middle is. All this is the middle. And then the end is the resolution. Okay, so the beginning is uh, the exposition. That's where you're learning the set setting and the characters. The middle of the story on Plot Mountain is the rising action, the climax, and the falling action. And then the resolution is the end of the story. So plot is a sequence of events of the story that from the beginning, the middle, and the end. Okay, just review this. And bye.